Getting a great head start in Nightingale is a lot easier than you'd think. Simply follow these steps and you'll start with an inventory packed full of valuable items, including potions, infusions and rare crafting items. Once you've created your character and completed the tasks set by the mystical NPC Puck in the first Byway Realm, the forest, you'll head through the portal and into your second of three Byway Realms, the desert. You may be inclined to rush through these next two tutorial Byway Realms, but I'd strongly advise against this, as you'll miss out on a large quantity of easy to obtain and valuable loot. When you enter the Desert Realm, you'll need to complete some further tasks for Puck. I'd advise to head towards the oasis and place your camp among the trees near the portal. This will keep you safe from the sun, but there's also plenty of resources on hand to complete the tasks Puck sets you fairly quickly. Once you have all your basic tools crafted, head towards either one of the large structures. In this example, I'm heading to the one furthest from the portal first. On the ground level, there's a dark hidden entrance. Head in here and you'll discover the first of your hidden chests. Take the items and head back out and climb on the structure. Once you reach the broken slanted stone, you can climb up and reach a platform. Here, you'll want to jump across to the other side. If you don't quite make it, you should be able to grab onto the edge and climb up. Here, there'll be another hidden chest. Take the contents and jump down onto the adjacent structure, and there should be a further chest in the room with a central statue. Once this building is clear, head to the other one and repeat the steps. The chests are hidden in similar places, although their precise position may be different. You should find six chests in total, and already have a pretty good selection of loot. If you become encumbered, extract the basic essence from the items like wood, rocks and plant fibre from within your inventory, as these are easy to gather and will help quickly reduce your weight. Head to the portal and continue to the final byway realm, the swamp. Once you arrive, Puck will give you some further tasks, although you'll be able to complete these fairly easily as you continue. Look around and you'll notice two large structures. Head toward the closest one, but be on your guard for leprodons. The best tool to dispatch these easily is the axe, and try for headshots. Remember to use your knife to acquire the bone hide and meat and continue to the structure. Have a good look around these and check on every level for loose items and chests. Work your way up the levels, emptying the chests as you go. Once you reach the top level, you should find a chest that contains an umbrella. Equip this, as you'll need it shortly. On one of the levels, there may be either a chest, some ingots, or some other loot that are hanging on a platform. Now, you can easily drop down onto this, but you can't climb back up. So this is where you can utilize your newly acquired umbrella to safely ascend. Once you've cleared the structure, head to the next one, and rinse and repeat. You may need to extract the essence from the basic items once again if you become encumbered. If you're still carrying too much weight, then move on to items that you are less likely to need straight away. For example, I picked up some carved stone granite and some easy to acquire quartz gems, which are pretty heavy, so I could do without at this stage. Now you've cleared both structures, head toward the portal. Pop a campfire down and complete the final task for Puck. If it's raining, then you can build the campfire under the arch of the portal and it'll stay alight. You can now continue to your abeyance round with a nice hoard of goodies to help you on your journey toward Nightingale. In this example, I collected the following. Three charms, seven infusions, 12 various potions, 10 healing salves, six foodstuffs, two umbrellas, 10 minor realm cards, and a large amount of crafting items, including 10 tin ingots, 19 tin ore, and six raw gems, plus a load of leather, ammo, wood, etc. I hope this video has been helpful, and thanks for watching. I'm GG, and have fun. See ya.